So, Ms. Payne, tell me what you think we might be able to do differently to make things easier on victims to uh, seek safety. So I think that a lot of victims have a hard time being able to separate themselves from their accuser uh, via divorce or perhaps if they have children. Um, a lot of times that process is completely separate from the criminal process. So I think that in my experience anyway that victims have a hard time being able to navigate that process. I mean it's kind of a shock anyway that they're dealing you know with whatever they're dealing with at the time but then to have that extra control over them in terms of um, you know potentially losing custody of their children or fighting over their children or putting their children in a bad situation um, because of the abuser attempting to gain control, I think that that process could be improved significantly. Um, you know, in addition to that, I think that it's very difficult for them to kind of be able to uh, have some distance from their from their abusers, if, especially you know if they're automatically getting bond things like that. Uh, I think it makes it a lot more difficult for them. And the educational aspect, I think, is, is something that we probably need to work on. I know that Safe Homes is a wonderful resource, but a lot of times the people don't, um, they don't ever know about it uh, because, you know, maybe they're not paying attention or maybe they're not just exposed to any, any type of resource that would expose them to Safe Homes. So I think that the educational aspect is something that we really, you know, need to strive to improve on.